Hello, welcome to this presentation. My name is Sir Maurice Dimba. Today we are going to start on a new project that is Ordinary Portland Cement Silo. Our silo will be a fabricated cylindrical and a conical shape erected on top of four RCC columns. The thickness of our, pl of our plates will be 16 millimeter thickness. Okay, we'll go right ahead and get started here on grid. Before we go ahead, we will frame ourselves today on grid, footing and uh, RCC columns. Let's go ahead and start creating our grid by double clicking on the on this default grid we will go on uh, y axis because our columns will be 9.4 meters center to center and uh, column sizes will be 750 millimeter square now on the x axis we will feed uh, we will feed two two by ninety four fifty y also two by ninety four fifty height we will feed uh, from zero zero level to let's let us delete this from zero zero level to nineteen point two meters nineteen point two meters there we are we'll delete this here we'll feed 19 200 we, we delete the rest on x axis we'll need a b and b on the y axis we need we will need one and two we will go and create and, and modify click yes close that this is our grid now right click on this box right click fit it to our entire model on this grid we will go to concrete we go to footing select pad footing click there right click do some adjustments on your footing our footing this time round will be wider make it three meters by three meters due to the weight subjected to it by the cement that will be loaded into that silo modify apply before you press ok check the height of the footing we'll give it two meters we'll give it an t not two but 2500 apply ok there we are now we will copy this to these four to these three remaining grids grid corners right click copy copy it from that point place it there place it there and place this that that on that place i mean right click to disable that command before we proceed we will create views for this go on the grid Point on the grid with the, with the mouse. 
click right click create view view along the grid lines click that create now we need views on this side we need grid 1 and we need grid a, grid a. only that press ok ok I move out right click to disable that command go to view click switch to 3d plane switch to that come to 3d go right away to columns to go to columns you have to go on concrete pick column put the color right on the top of your pad footing right there to set out or feed the right measurements for your columns double click on this go to attributes here on this dialog box we have all the properties of this column which is parametric you change one thing and changes the other now under attributes we want a column of 750 millimeter square feed that change that also modify apply position we'll give it we'll give this 700 700 modify apply okay now we'll uh, with the columns will penetrate down with 700 now it's now we will re reduce the height of the of our padding pad footing by going there and click this 700 there apply okay there you are we'll adjust all this go to that adjust that to 700 adjust this also to 700 negative adjust this also to 700 there you are we will copy this here take it from that point that pick it from there take it there we'll copy that press control right click copy copy it from the from, from A to B 
interrupt we'll go to window click that something wrong double click on that check on the properties of your footing go to 3d Seven, seven, seven. Go to that. Take some measurements from that point to this point. That is 7.7. .7. Right click. Check these measurements. 7.7. .7. Just confirm the measurements if they are right. Right click. OK. Now we want to take this column's height to, to 19.2. Right click. go to 3d select all the columns double click on the last we take this all the way to 19 200 apply ok here we are Now on top here is where we will place our our silo. What we'll do? We will go to We will wind up at this at this point and continue with the rest on fabricated cylindrical and uh, conical shape of our silo. Thanks a lot for watching and let's meet on the next episode.